Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review and an easy way to play Solitaire without having to install any additional apps. Um, I actually haven't tested the shortcut feature, but I will test that now to see, um, so let's say you wanted to create a shortcut to Solitaire um, in this method, then you can have an easy shortcut. But all you need is to do a ser Google search for play Solitaire. Um, I'm going to show you the method by using your Chrome web browser in this case on Android, but you could also do it by doing a quick search or by using Google now. So what I'll do is I'll open up Google Chrome. I'll do a search for Play Solitaire. It's in my history, so I'll click on it and have that open up. Um, the speed at which it loads will depend at, on the speed of your internet connection. So my connection is a little bit low right now, so it'll take a couple extra seconds, but um, the general experience is um, the same. Um, when you do one or if you are able to play solitaire um, or you have that option you'll see a nice little window at the top with some cars and tap to play so all you'll do is you'll touch it or once the page finishes loading you will um, tap on it to uh, launch the game you'll have the option to have an easy or hard difficulty so I'll choose easy for now you get nice um, uh, animation as far as playing the game and um, it is just as easy as if you are playing on a desktop computer or in your usual uh, manner of playing solitaire. And it's all without um, um, a separate app um, outside of, for example, Chrome or Google Now, which, for example, if you have Google Now installed, you um, don't necessarily have to have that additional um, app. Um, assuming I'm an ace, I'll show that uh, it does also support um, double clicking. So or double tapping to have the ace go to its appropriate location. Um, so I'll move cards around just to show off more of those animations. Um, so nothing special at the moment, but overall it's pretty easy. If you want to undo a move, you have an undo button. If you want a new game, you can have a new game. For example, if you want to uh, switch modes or um, do anything like that. You can also mute the sounds. So if you're, let's say, in a waiting room or in a place where you don't really want sounds, then you can mute that. Um, hitting the X will close it, so the overlay there will go away. And then, of course, you can hit the overflow and um, have a default search for playing solitaire, so rather than the actual game uh, loading. So I'll close out of all of that, and um, I, have a, I have a shortcut now to playing solitaire, so I don't have to necessarily um do that search every single time um since i do have a shortcut to swiping up and doing a quick search i can just as easily do that and i don't need a separate um link to it but um either way works so if you don't if you want to save that step of typing and swiping and going to separate places then um this will work just as well so um, there is the animation for uh, moving an ace to its appropriate location so you can just as easily drag it um, or double tap on your ace to make it go where you want it to go. And same thing for any card under that underneath that. So if I have this, so I have this two of diamonds, I can double tap that and have it go to its appropriate place. So um, that's really all there is for that. So if you are a solitaire fan and you uh, don't want to install app or you don't know which one you want to play or don't play that often, then doing a Google search for play solitaire will allow you to do that. Uh, one last thing is that the game does support um, uh, landscape mode. So if you want to play, for example, like this in full screen, then um, you can do that and the uh, game adjusts accordingly and you can play this way as well. And um, you have that option as well. So that is all there is for that. So again, just to play solitaire on the go with no separate app, just do a Google search for play solitaire. You'll have that tap to play button if you have that option. Tap on it, select your mode, and you're all set. And then you can close it out when you're done. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can find or email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. You can uh, find this uh, review and other reviews on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And as always, the podcast and all related links can be found on the web at PatelN01.com. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.